Welcome to the Open Source Summit Japan. I'm happy to be here today to introduce one of our new open source project called Lexer. And before I get there, I want to give a bit of a history about Winterbur. I don't know how many of you heard about Winterbur. We've been, been here in the industry for about like a 43 plus years. In the last 20 years or so, we have been very much focused on contributing to a lot of uh, open source projects, primarily on the embedded side. If you think about Yocto, we are one of the co-founder of the Yocto project. Not only the Yocto project, but also to the Open Handset Alliance, Starlingers, Zephyr. We have been contributing to a lot of these open source projects, as well as to the CentOS and the Debian stream for the last decade or so. This is our rich legacy in both Linux and open source projects. Uh, beyond these projects, you know, a lot of you heard about the Open Network Foundation, SDN, uh, taking the cloud native approach. All of these projects are also driven by Winterbur, and we are a very integral part of this open source community. And I'm happy to share that you know, this July, we did launch uh, another project called Lexer. And we'll talk about that. What, what motivated us to get into the Elixir project? Today, there is a humongous increase in the compute power, and uh, there is a big proliferation of these into the edge that makes this edge a little bit of a chaotic, you know, given the kind of a use cases that we are going after, be it cloud native, be it AI-based workloads, there is a bit of a chaotic in the landscape and that creates the fragmentation. You know, there is no single unified solution that can help you to scale from edge to the cloud, and you have numerous amount of uh, open source build a tool and a distribution, and that creates that kind of you know, fragmentation that we are talking about, and it creates a huge and long learning curve for developer. Uh, these architectural requirements are also very different, you know, different compute power, different CPU kinds, you know, different kind of a core requirement, and there is a very complex architectural requirement, bootloader, kernel, board support packages, and most importantly, the security and footprint requirement. And there is no cohesive upstream methodology that's getting you know, followed here in this kind of a fragmented world. And we wanted to try to address these challenges by introducing a new approach to this edge to cloud continuum. It's called Lexer. It is an open source project. It's a Debian derivative with open source collaborative mindset and open source upstream, upstream first mindset. You know, this is the, the design fundamental for Windriver to embark on this open source project called Lexer. We just wanted to make sure this is 100% open source and available to all of you, available for all the different use cases, supports all the way from the edge to the server grade hardware addresses the continuum between the edge to the cloud. It will come with a pre-built, validated, fine-tuned cloud native capabilities and AI optimized workload. Nobody has got time anymore to really just build all the binary from the you know the, from the source code, right? You know, this is a pre-built binary with all the right templates that are available to accelerate your deployment. Minimal footprint for security and performance, it's fine-tuned. We are open sourcing this project, which is robust, reliable, right-sized, real-time, and resilient. So what are we trying to achieve through the Lexer? You know, bring a unified tech stack from a core to edge. It's got a minimal, curated, validated, and extensible package footprint. It helps you to manage your footprint better, manage your security attacks better. It's performance tuning both on the kernel as well as on the you know, the user space components, it's optimized. It supports the variety of hardware, and including, you know, like some of those key capabilities of the hardware enabled in the binary itself, right? So if you're picking up one of the architecture and that comes with a, a better way to manage your AI workload, those capabilities are pre-integrated into this binary. <coughs> Long-term maintenance and support, and most importantly, it's committed 100% to be upstream first, mindset and open source collaboration. So we launched this in um, 
in July, like I said, in the DebConf. And since the inception, we launched with a bunch of partners. I'm, I'm very happy to share, you know, this just happened this morning. Uh, Wind River and uh, Rocket and Symphony has actually collaborated to accelerate the open RAN, you know, deployments in the CSP world by partnering and by expanding the, the ecosystem between Rocketon and Wind River, and Lexer is being you know, like one of the technology that is getting evaluated, and we have built the POCs with the Rocketon Symphony. May I ask you all, uh, please you know, join the project. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting journey, and uh, like many of the other Wind River projects, it will have an a opportunity to go after all the different vertical markets. And, uh, we have a booth right downstairs. Uh, please come and watch some of the cool demo that you have built based from the lecture. And I hope that you know you all will join this community. Thank you so much. <laughs>